After our tablet is installed, we have a few steps to start with. The first step is to connect it to our network. Also can customize. After clicking this Wi-Fi we can turn it on. After entering, we choose our mobile phone hotspot. You can add or modify your After selecting, enter your Wi-Fi password. After entering, you can make a connection. Now it's connected. Okay, it has Wi-Fi. The second step after Wi-Fi. What are we going to set? It's Bluetooth. We can turn on the Bluetooth after opening. It doesn't matter if it's empty here. Enter member number. Go to more settings. Enter member. Here you will see that there is a Bluetooth MRBOSS58 RPD receipt printer. Then remember to select this receipt printer icon. Don't choose this one. Select this printer icon to connect. Let it connect. Enter a password when OK to connect. The password is 0000. After entering, just press OK. OK, so our Bluetooth printer. The Bluetooth printer is already connected to the tablet. Print via Bluetooth. Besides, there is a very important one is AnyDesk. If you need our customer service assistance, Please open this AnyDesk after. Put this number. Tell our customer service staff. Our customer service staff will use your number. Provide you with remote services. So this number is very important. In addition, after doing these, it's time to start entering our POS software. That POS software let's turn it on. When opening for the first time, this might ask us to enter a SAS ID. If we set it up for you before delivery, no need to set up here. If we haven't set it up for you then you need to set if you need to set it where is the sas id we can take a look at this on this carton this is our sas id on the carton we can enter this sas id for an authentication then we can lose this sas id after entering the sas id you just press this to bind so that once it goes in the entire software and hardware settings are completed go in and it will start loading the first loading will take a little longer, but it's normal, because it's creating that repository. It will take a while since you are a new user. It is generating the database. We can wait a bit. This is an installation video of a new tablet. Okay when we log in. When you log in for the first time, if we see this scene, our system will automatically update. Then if this screen appears, you just need to click to upgrade now. Then if you want to use it right away, you can click next time. Next time you upgrade, that's generally in order to maintain our latest features. With its stability, usually we upgrade immediately. Then this system, it will help us automatically upgrade to the latest version. The best software to use. In this way, it is 100% even if the upgrade is completed. Okay, it needs to be installed when the upgrade is complete but it doesn't matter we can just install it directly then it will start to install our software it's installed after installation click open directly it will reopen our software we just enter our default password which is one two three after entering one two three we can log in directly so now we have logged into our software the first time you go in there is a reserve fund we can enter a reserve fund like 500 coins so that's what we've got into our cashier software you can start to set up and check out let's take a look when ordering just order twice let's take a look that's it you can check out directly in this way the receipt can be printed directly this is a very simple process of a checkout android is very easy to use